Hello, welcome back to Urban X Files. My name is Key, and today I am going to tell you about the mysterious spring that you've seen in the investigation with um, Dom and Izzy at St. James's Cemetery. Now, I did say there was a natural spring uh, that you've seen in the video, but I didn't go into any details because I couldn't remember. Um, the um, the story is that um, the this spring uh, was first discovered by some quarry work quarry workers uh, who were quarrying the grounds of St James's Cemetery because that was built within a quarry sometime in the 1700s. Now the water was called Liverpool Spa and was once sought by uh, people who would um, have been afflicted with weak and inflamed eyes and it was thought to cure many ailments like rickets uh, and other like it was like a tonic to boost people who were feeling withdrawn from life now the water in this natural spring contains elements of silica uh, calcium carbonate calcium sulfate magnesium nitrate and magnesium chloride and sodium, sodium carbonate now the spring is thought to um, to cause beneath Liverpool from the direction of Church Street, and it was part of the um, church in Church Street. Go back to Church Street in town. There was a, in Church Street in town before the development of Liverpool One. Uh, it was outside what was for those of you who know all the Liverpool like from the nineties. Um, where Church Street is, where HMV used to be, and W. H. Smith was on the side. As you come outside, you see a grey, which is still there today. There was a grey, like marble type slab in the floor with a gold cross. Now that marked where Church Street got its name from, which was Saint Peter's Churchyard. Now, in that part of um, Church Street, where the church was, they had for 2,000 bodies, I think, that were buried um, in Church Street, and it was they were excavated because they were widening Church Street to make way for what is now more of a modern Liverpool from back then. It's been it's been renovated since since the opening of uh, Liverpool One. Um, it's all changed since then. And what was it doing now? It's now uh, like a through fair. Uh, it's called St Peter's Lane, I think it is now. Uh, obviously named after St Peter's Church, which is also in Church Street. Anyway, now, um, in January of 1868, there was um, some work carried out by workers who were widening Church Street, and they had to remove from St Peter's Churchyard something around 2,000 bodies for the part that they needed to, for those of you who want to see. There's Kobe. He's nudging me for attention. He, 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 he likes to be part of things. He doesn't like to be left out. So Kobe's um, he's in the video. He's my special dog. <laughs> um, so yeah, there was something like 2,000 bodies um, that were removed. And these bodies were said to be taken to um, Anfield Cemetery. And um when the coffins were being loaded onto a cart to be taken to the cemetery um some of the coffins had rotted quite considerably where the bodies inside were visible so um the workers had to contend with um seeing these bodies now the strange thing about these bodies is that the cadavers inside that had been exposed had um there were two bodies that had stood out and one of them was a woman who had died decades before she was exhumed um and her body had become petrified for those of you that don't know, um, petrified is like is like when it gets turned to stone. So if you've seen Harry Potter, and I forget which which one Harry Potter is, um, when it when um, you see some of the victims have been petrified, like frozen in fear. Now 
what this this done it, it sort of preserved the body of this woman so she um, it looked like she'd been asleep she looks like she was still alive but had been dead for decades hundreds maybe of years now um, there was no sign of decomposition whatsoever and then there was um, another body uh, and the body was of Captain David Gwynn. Now he died of, um, on the 21st of July in 1813 and he lived quite, quite, quite an old age. He lived till he was 76. Now his body was said to resemble that of a grey statue because his flesh had turned what looked like can only be described as he turned to stone. Um, now, it was surmised that the corpse um, of the captain and this, this lady had been petrified because of the mineral laden underneath the grounds, which is the same, coming from the same spring that leads all the way to um, St. James's Cemetery, this natural spring, um, and it had filtered through the coffin and preserved them. and. It was noted when they were excavating the grounds that the spring looked to be as though it was heading south towards the cathedral. And um, that happens to be a story related to the strange, mysterious spring that we've seen when we was investigating St. James's Cemetery. So I thought I'd relay these little findings for you. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did finding them out. If so, please hit the like button, it really does help. And on a lighter note, enjoy your day. See you all in the next